would like to mention for a short starter the color of skin doesn't really matter simply I'm doing all a big favor to arrest ignorant jahili behavior racism towards blacks is like a fever who doesn't see it is a bold-faced deceiver from white supremacist to our own brother the reality of this makes you want to shudder for this reason for me it is an honor to recite some history with some trini flavor for us it's a must to remember that Ethiopia was the first place of Hijra Bilal was the first Mu'addin of Medina our sister Sumaya was our first martyr the first one that in Badr was Muhajja Osama ibn Zaid for an army was the leader Wahshi for Musaylama was the killer Umbaraka the prophet's foster mother the servant of Aisha was sister Barira Aslam went with Omar to Aqsa then Ibn Jubair and Atta Ibn Rabah, two great scholars in the Tabi'in era. Luqman the Wise has his name in a surah. Abu Bakr was known from the Sahaba. Imam Nafir, the famous master reciter. Najashi, the just ruler of Ethiopia. Mansa Musa, one of the richest men era. Jene and Timbuktu Booth Learning Center. First ruler of Songhai was Sundiyata. Songhai and Mali being Muslim Empire. But then there we have Omar Falata, former head of the University of Medina, Muhammad Aman, the Sheikh of Akida, Adam al Ethiopi, the Muhaddith of Makkah. For those who sneer at blacks and Africa, they made giant contributions to this Ummah. So know yourself, don't be no slacker. Black Muslim history didn't start on a slaver. And please, it is for a must for all to remember that it doesn't matter what is your skin color.